Okay, so uh, I guess you are enjoying our conversation. We are still here with Ideas Farm. We are exploring the farm, looking at the various like demarcations and how to actually go about you personally doing yours. Not necessarily with Ideas Farm, but he sharing some of the ideas on how to also start your own way, probably in some small farm at your backyard, on how to go about it. So, yeah, continue following the conversation. I must say, like, I like this view a lot. It's, it's very nice. You can see people's farm, the demarcations yeah. and all. You know, I was telling it's, you. It's a very nice. Down there is like Eastern region. Where okay. you are standing is Greater Accra. Okay, but then behind you is Eastern region. region. Yeah. yeah. The view is <laughs> top notch. That's in some senior high school. They are a nest over there. The white yeah, building. That building there. Oh, okay. So yeah, join us. Like follow the conversation. Mm -hmm. and subscription is very important. Okay. Please, please, please subscribe. Please. So for instance, we are expecting the rains now, okay, so we've applied like quick fertilizer around. If it was raining by now, like it would have been like bigger and nicer than this, okay, but because there is no rain for, but it is still okay. So when you plant the circuit, how long does it take for like, you get a fully matured pineapple? Uh, averagely like, okay, so now we use, averagely a year, but now we use like 15 months. I think we are even thinking of changing it to 18 months. Because when we started, we realized, so average, there are people who even harvest their fruit like by 10 months. Okay, oh, okay, if you take very, extremely very good care of it. But then one, the land is not helping us, okay, because of the nature of the land. Mm -hmm. Okay, so ideally, before you plant, you should plow the land. The tractor should come and but then look at the land. I mean, like, you can't, you can't bring a tractor, yeah, a tractor here to, to come and then you can have to do things like manually. So that is one. And then two, uh, because of the nature, how large the farm is, I mean, the accuracy of things that we are supposed to do okay so let's say apply fertilizer let's say on the first of every month or something and sometimes it delays okay so because of that so yeah 15 months average like it should be matured yeah but as i said we are thinking of moving it to like 18 months because i mean apart from the land and other factors so yeah and then so i said one it is resistant to like uh, what's the pest and disease yeah. two i mean like it can do well with that rainfall for some time okay. and then three so uh, if you check our business model which i'll talk about later okay. what we do is that we say that okay it will take you let's say 622 cities to cultivate a thousand circuits 622 cities. cities to cultivate like one thousand as i told you we cultivate it by circuits sure. and then the total cost so what we've done is to calculate the total cost the whole process will, so we need the 15 months if you decide to like okay i want to farm i want to do like a pineapple farm and then, um, i have some idea how do i go about it so we decide to like take the stress okay so you know earlier on i was explaining to you the problem that we are solving if you're in accra right now and then you want to farm so already you have an interest in farming and then you want to farm land okay where do you get the land and then after even getting the land then your next problem becomes like laborers because would actually you work, on, work on the farm because maybe you are doing your service or you are working or something so you can't do the hard work on the farm and then finally is the experience okay? okay you need to know how to go about the whole farming thing so that is what i guess farm does okay so we provide Circuits will cost you like 622 cities uh, once you make the payment and then we start the whole farming thing for you so all that we do is to like give you an update and then whenever like you want to visit the farm and then so there are people who are like they come around and then they want probably their friends to know that like they have they farms, own a farm yeah, and all that yeah. they own a farm and then so you can come and Apart from the salary worker, we have contract workers that like, so 
extension of SS2. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so we deal with the uh, gun waste. He also occasionally comes around to come and check like what we are doing. And it looks like it's well regulated. People come to people come here. Yeah, check all that. Exactly. Yeah. It is not really that effective, but then we are doing our best. Yeah. Best. yeah, yeah. yeah. People, when they are coming on board, they ask you, "Oh, I mean, like, what if something happens?" When I ask them, "What can happen?" Okay. So that is also one of the reasons why we are holding to what's the name? Uh, pineapple. Pineapple. To reduce the risk involved. Okay. okay. So earlier on, I was explaining to you that for someone to cultivate, let's say, a thousand sachets. Total cost for the whole year is 622 cities. Okay, we have that's for those who want to come on board. On board, with yeah, ideas. with ideas. Okay, so six hundred for a thousand sachets. So if you are cultivating two thousand sachets, you just multiply times two. Yeah, so it may be on the Is the promise we are making to you that like that is the price we can produce we can sell the food. It. yeah so that's worst case scenario okay. but then we actually sell the food more than that okay so where it is, like, when it is more you, you get your returns become so okay. but worst case scenario like 80 percent per food you have to calculate from so it means you get 80 percent okay. yeah so basically that is how like um our model is right. so i was looking at situation where it doesn't really We can actually find like incremental irrigation system on the farm, but because of the nature of the land. And then don't forget, okay, if we try like bringing in a irrigation system, all these things that we can do to ensure that like we get better yields would increase the cost of production. Okay. The idea is to make the whole thing like simple. I mean like six hundred and twenty afford for more people to join. Okay. Now people sometimes forget why. So these days uh, I make sure like I explain things clearly to people before they come on board. One there's a business where like people want to make money so i have people on board who they are coming in for money sure. okay so they bring huge money and then what they are looking such people are looking for money okay so that is one market and then we have the market where we want to create the platform to make this whole thing easier for people to have the experience okay so you have the farm you come to the farm once or twice or three times like within the year okay so you take pictures or something like after that you decide okay so after a year or so or maybe 50 months you decide okay I think this is something cool I want to join. So as I was telling you earlier on, what we are doing is that we want to offer, so we realize that there are people who want to start something, but then they don't know where How to start. To so we tell such people that like, we can actually like start farming, just as we are doing. And then too, we have people who actually want to start farming, okay, but then they don't know where to start from. Then we tell them you can start from ideas farms. Okay? They are like, they brought huge money, they are looking for money. Sure. Okay, yeah, I know such people, as for them, they are looking. And they are excited by the idea that like, they have a farm. Hoping that we at the end of the whole thing, like they will get something small, and then so for us, these are the people that like we are looking for. Okay, so let me find out something. So, supposing I'm interested in investing, which I, 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 they, I come on board with thousands of social activities, right? So, and the matures after months, right? So, the selling of the whole thing, ideas fit up for it, and or I have to come on board. So that is why we have to find mine. Okay, so we've actually like registered Mr. Fine to us, like I said. So ideas farms is the farm where we are okay yeah. so ideas farms engage in work cultivating like pineapples okay sure. but then we realize that when we started so if you check the other part it is bushy because we've already harvested that whole part okay so we harvested all the fruit okay so we harvested some and then we realized that when we started the harvest we realized that the, we were selling to market screens and then like our target was blue skies and gold this is how the market operates one blue skies will not buy from you because like you are 
cannot take change to be come such companies you know the demand is quite big sport, okay yeah. so what what we realize is that even if they want to buy from you like in small quantities they want it to be consistent so if they know that they can get five thousand fruits from you sure. every month throughout so the year yes every month they will just become a school so they will deal with you if you can do that that is one two if uh, we have the fruit juice producing companies okay so they also come in there because they are going to use it for juice like they want to buy it as like a cheaper price and those things and then we have the market greens that's for them they, they cheat you okay <laughs> like they totally like they come and then you harvest it and then after they would say it's no market, what harvest they have? No, I didn't know who. We never went to the farmer market, so they would just be with you and then open a mentor. Every day you go, and once like you leave it to go and call someone else. On so by a woman say ah, your boo boo go hold that. Then which means oh, to a mo be na unko ye. To on so by a woman good price, it will still go down. Then so it uh, what that meant is that like we had to like find a way to sell it on our own. So as I told you, our target price is 80 pesos, but now we are able to sell like fruit in the in town for like two CD, three CD, two CD, fifty pesos, three okay. for five CDs, and then other stuff. So That's yeah, nice. so with the selling aspect, we handle that one too. Okay, we have some few people who are like like one one uh, man, uh, Ebenezer. So he's suggesting that okay, we process this for you to choose for you. Yeah, we have the juice department, so we can also do that. Okay. Where, like we process. If you want your fruit, so there are people who are like my mom sells fruit. So, like, sell the fruit to you because we have to account to you at the end of so we sell the fruit to you at the prevailing like market price okay. so if like we are going to sell the fruit and then we'll sell it for one city we are not going to say that because it is yours so we are giving it to you for 80 percent no already the profit ideas farms has like 20 percent in it so we have to find a way to account and then we know that this is the part 20 percent of our profit okay. yeah. so if i get you so after everything that you are selling you sell it to the market you at 80 percent so that 80 percent is that what comes to me or i just take 20 percent of that 80 okay so this is how the whole thing is so you came in let's say you have got 89,000 sackets you yeah. came in with 650 pesos so uh, let me also uh, quickly indicate this so the total cost as i explained earlier on what we've done is to calculate the total cost so once you pay this 622 cities you are not paying anything again okay okay for the rest of the year until like the crop the so fruit so that's after 15 months yeah after 15 months okay that is one and then two we know that there are a group of people who probably can maybe raise this 652 cities at the end of the year okay so it will be difficult so we are working on the startup capital so the startup capital for a thousand circuits is 200 cities and then every month like you pay a farm maintenance fee for 35 cities i mean like if you um, so the farm maintenance fee is for 12 months if you multiply like 35 by 12 like the 200 you still get the 622 so these are the two days of payment so either you start with 622 like full payment you don't have any payment again or you start with what uh, 200 cities and then we spread the remaining over 12 months for you so when you are done paying then by then your cost will be already started right and then the selling price as i said is 80 pesos so if you sell thousand fruits for 80 pesos that's 800 cities your cost will have 622 you take it out you have a profit of about 173 cities this is noted that this is just for the fruits okay now that 178 cities, you, know, you take 80 percent of it, and the IBS farms take 20 percent of it. And then, if by then you decide to like reinvest, okay, then your sackets, I mean, like you probably plant it on. But if you decide not to reinvest, then oh, let's sell the sackets for. So we sell the sackets. Uh, earlier on, I explained the sackets portion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you have 3,000 sackets, we give you about like 150. We add it to the uh, profit, and then we share it. So you take 80 percent, and you take 20 percent. So that people come on board that after the 15 months they sell the pineapple and sell the sackets and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have people like that. So how much are the sackets like supposing you are selling it? So if you are selling it, it is five pesos, but if you are buying it, it is ten pesos. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you are buying it, I mean we include all the work that is supposed to be done on the sackets. Okay, but if you are selling it, it is the other person who is buying it who pay for the work.
we started that, but our experiences with that is not nice, so we stopped it. As in like linking you with linking you with a land, a land and land. then like you would start the whole farm here. So we had like two experiences which were really really terrible. Yeah. I mean like the guys who came in have even left there. The farm and then you don't even know what is going on. So were they also doing like the same pineapple? Yeah, they, like so yes, yeah. one did pineapple, I think one did maize. Okay, mm -hmm. so we connected them with the land and then now we are even trying to like move away from here. So with the At, new client, like the whole yeah, thing, okay. we want to move away from it. We are not completely like moving away, okay, but then we don't have, I mean, like for the next 10 15 years, we can't be operating here. So we have to start thinking in that direction like right away sure, okay sure. because for us this is something we are going to thing. do yeah for a very long time so we've already like um, identified a portion of land somewhere and then we are trying to work around it, around it to see how like we can develop it well i was looking at probably i want to start an animal farm yeah probably piggy then i need a land because that's most of their headache yeah to get a land to start the whole thing so can i come to ideas farm and say ideas i need probably one plot okay not not do. not on our land probably we can connect you with like someone who would give you a land okay so you do the documentation everything with the, with person. the person okay. yeah and then but sincerely as i've told you it's our experience with that is not nice okay. yeah people get problems and then you were the one who connected them so they have to come back to you and then and you complain yeah them. so we have we have one guy who has like a grass cutter farm over here okay, in the community so he came i connected it with him with like Charlie, things are not going well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the grass cutters are there. I mean, the last time I met him, he was complaining. I mean, he counted the grass cutters. I think at the beginning of this year, he had 18 of them. And then as of now, he still has like 18 of them. Oh, why? Charlie. The people have been... <laughs> I don't even know what is going on. Hundred animals or what? I don't... Okay, so I'm here with you by him. He is also like a worker on the farm. No, he's now our farm manager. Okay, so farm manager, sure, wow. Ibrahim. So he sees to the day to day running of the farm. So let me let me leave it to him so he shares with us what he actually does on the farm. So Ibrahim, so please kindly take us through some of the things you do on the farm. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So they here work with ideas farm. Okay. By the way, too, it's hard, but we also they here many things more. Sure, I can see because the land is very huge 35 acres there. So like on a day to day, like what do you do? Like when you visit the farm? I weed. You do the weed also? Yeah, I weed under the circus. So, to make sure like there are no weeds. Yes, I will, so I will, I will make sure that the under the circus will be clear. Okay. Yes. Okay. To so make it be able to grow. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So and do for poachers those who come around to come and steal some of the like circus and all like the pineapple because only there can be resource special. They're not stealing. They do have a Oh, okay. So you don't have people who come and like. But well, if the people pass on it, they are they are harvest and then go. But uh, there's no plan to wait for. Yeah, no so harvest. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can come in here. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. You so can. as he was saying, like stealing is not really like a problem here. Okay. So what I was talking about is harvesting. Mm. Okay. As in, sometimes your farm will be the will be a bit spray. Like those exporters, and they can actually spray it and come and tell, oh, you have better pineapple anyway. So that was what I was not stealing. Not stealing. But then, as you also indicated, yeah, if like there's a pathway in your farm, sometimes when people are passing, I mean, just harvesting one or two is normal. Oh, yeah, 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 but you can't go to someone's farm with a sack, yeah, like yeah. you are going to, yeah. Okay. But the normal village setting, people can just work in someone's plantation, plantation then yeah. just be taking the plantain or the cassava and all that. <laughs> um, we are exploring, we are having fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm here with the farm, uh, the farm manager yeah, sharing some few ideas with us on how best or what he does on the usual day on the farm. So follow us, keep enjoying our conversation and please subscribe if you want to see more and yeah, watch more and also know how best to go about your own farm. And all. So thank you very much. Enjoy as we move along. Okay, then there's still no rainfall. So this is this after this. I affected the rainfall. <laughs> See? Because so, this year, since I know rainfall. Yeah. Yeah. So it will delay, and then, so you already have a contract with someone that like 15 months. Meanwhile, the planting has already delayed for let's say about 3, 4, 5 months. Okay, so it eats into the whole thing. 
so it takes yes. a bit longer time longer. Than the so, so our option is either to move it to 18 months or to like give people the option to let them know that okay when we sign a contract you start your counting only after we in, like notify you that like we've planted, planted yeah so approximately how long that would take to like a time duration to plant it averagely a year okay the planting, the planting the plant. so the person has a fair idea okay if I'm coming on board, supposing all that things being equal, give it and take it. Like, maximum two months. Okay, just that like the conditions now, as I said, the nature of the land we are operating on. Planting shouldn't take longer. So our original calculation is that we will do the weeding and dressing of the land within the first month. That That is possible. And then the planting will be in the second month. So, yeah, two months is okay. Just that like the nature of the land that we are dealing with. Okay, so see this part. We had to like uh, there were huge huge trees here mm. okay we had to clear that and then dress the land and then so it took like longer For period yeah so we've realized almost everywhere it takes longer than like uh, estimated so which is why now we are like adjusting the time okay okay so i'm to start now to invest now approximately by next so two months time two months yeah so we are in so september now hey, september so uh september october yeah yeah so maximum november, november it should be yeah, it should be planted so that's no, it should be planted, planted. not started. Yeah, no yeah. planted, yeah. Okay. So I'm um, expecting harvest like in 15 months. 15 months so from that. that. Yeah, from, from the, Exactly. Then you notify exactly. us exactly. when you do yeah. the planting. And then as I indicated, we can actually like do the harvesting like a shorter period. Like all things being equal. Okay. Okay. And then I think we have a one month like added to it for, I mean, selling and then accounting to you. Okay. okay, so that is also inclusive in the 15 months. I mean, like when the fruits are ready, it's not like a what they are giving you. We have to sell it and then probably account to you. If you are selling, so we did a calculation of you sell it to let's say companies, or, so they take it and then pay you later. So okay. that's the calculation. But if we buy it, if we sell it to Mr. Pine, then probably you get your money immediately. Sure, sure. All right. Pineapple is appearing. Oh, okay. So that's the fruit appearing. Oh, they look cute. Like, so it's. It begins like this. Yeah, yeah, that will grow into this. It grows into this. Oh, okay. Nice. So, this one approximately 12 months or 15 months. This is even more than that. It should be ready. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, like our strategy now is to. Okay, so I guess uh, I wanted to find out that people who are watching who are interested in to start a final profile, they don't know how to go about it. So, can you take us through like how to actually start a final profile? Maybe at their own backyard or something. How oh. to go about it? All right. Um, so, I think we are all familiar with the expression that like experience is the best teacher. Exactly. So, I think the first thing I would say is that uh, to start any kind of Family, we should probably like get into contact with someone who has experience with okay, it so that they will guide you around it. Sure. Um, if you want to start like pineapple farming specifically, I mean that is not really a big deal okay, because as I already indicated, the risks involved are like minimal. Okay, it doesn't take much. So if you get your success, I think you've already shown the success. If you get yeah. your success, uh, if you want to do it at your backyard, I like, can just plant them. So we plant them in like lines. Okay. So as I said, get someone probably who will just be directing you around showing you how to go about it. Um, one other thing is that, like, I don't know, I'm still like researching into it, okay? Um, pineapple doesn't grow well everywhere. I don't know how to find out because yeah. I'm the soil. I know the we have soil, some clay. Yeah. And I, I don't know the dynamics yet, admittedly. Like, I don't know what goes into it, but it doesn't grow well anywhere. And okay. then, so I've realized there are certain places that I think that's where, okay, for instance, where we are now. If you go down to meet here where you people are like, okay, where I met you guys, if you plant pineapple there, yes, it will germinate, okay, but then it gets to a certain stage and then the color starts changing, okay, so it doesn't do well like everywhere, so probably like you would have to consider say, if you want to specifically go into the pineapple plant, then you have to like consider the, the land, okay, find out if it is suitable for pineapple plant, but then if you want to go into any other like family, especially, I mean, one of the easiest like things that like people farming, that people go into a vegetable farming, okay. Yeah, yeah. With that, you can control a lot of things, okay. So, probably even the soil, you can mix it with like uh, so organic like, fertilizers and then other things. But as I indicated, you need to get someone who has the experience to guide you around it, and then you need to research to more. I mean, like most of the things that we are doing, like you can find them online, online. 
online, yeah. Okay, so why don't you just go online and read about so read about like even if you want to like read, just go online, research about it, like get to view videos and then read about like three or four like different sources and then find out which one is suitable for you. Sure. And then like sure. you, you, you start. Okay. So can you let us know your final ways? Uh, those who want to come on board I with okay. IDS Farm, those who are interested in investing, what do you have for us? And also to the youth out there, those who are done with their national service, who are chasing jobs now, what do you have to tell them? Okay, so um, for IDS farms, like our immediate goals now is to increase our capacity in terms of like the number of sakes that like we are cultivating, yeah. because that will give us the leverage to deal with like bigger organizations and then probably like enter other countries and then start selling them already. Like uh, we are spreading ourselves like across Accra. Okay, so we have outlets at different places and then we are collaborating with others to to like enter other cities like Kumasi and then South Pina Falls there. So yeah, we need more people on board. Uh, it is not easy, but then like we are finding ways and means like around it. I mean the large number of people and then the circuit that they are cultivating. Okay. okay, so yeah, we need more people on board. So for anyone who wants to join ideas farms, not only for the money, as I was saying earlier on, I mean like for the experience, seriously, the experience, you need it. Yeah. Okay, so if you had, especially, uh, for some time now, I've been targeting like people who are in school and then people who are doing their service, okay? okay. Especially for those who are doing their service. If you are doing your service, I mean like, yeah. it is guaranteed. For those doing national that, service. Yeah, it is guaranteed that at the end of every month, at least you'll get like 559, five, okay? Yeah. Minimum 559. Five, so if you decide that, okay, let me join this ideas farm nonsense, and then like you start with 200 cities, every month you just give less. 35 for 12 months so by the end of the whole thing uh yeah you get something small 800 cities is really not a big deal but then you get the experience and the exposure mm -hmm. and then you can finally decide if you want to also fully go into farming or like oh no this i don't want to do farming so I'm there are people that have come on board and then after like the season they are like oh no so even, i even have one shareholder who is like he wants to sell, uh, sell his shares and then like go outside and go and stay so yeah. Oh, but you can still keep a share in this fly out. Yeah, I, I think he needs the money, so he says okay. yeah, he needs the money. So for those who want to buy shares, I think no, no, we are not so it is only his share that is available for sale, but then how much someone has already like he was at ten percent and then he was selling it for fifteen thousand. Wow. Yeah. So that was the only share available, but someone has already claimed it. So okay. and then so, yeah, so for young people outside there. Earlier on, I was explaining that like the only way to go now is for us to start something on our own. Okay, it is not going to be easy. Seriously, it is not going to be easy. And then you can. I have to admit, I don't like the idea of buying and selling. Okay, I think it is a lazy way. <laughs> okay, but seriously, that is the easiest thing you can do. Okay, you need to learn marketing, like how to market your ideas, how to market your. Like that is the easiest thing. If you are doing nothing, or like you need capital to start doing something, just like hey, be, be, I just turn up on. I just buy it and sell it so that it will engage you with time you can find like exactly what you want to do and then like probably you you would have gotten like the resource and experience to do what you want to do and then but start something like don't sit down like I mean I, I told you someone called me today and then he was like uh, he, he has been home for some time and he doesn't know what to do and they tell yeah, Corona no more you don't have you hey Corona no more you don't have you like we had about like three people at the shop like at our atomic junction shop Corona no more like we just made like all of them go and then just one person. We're still selling, so we have to make money. So yeah, let's let's get up and then do something on our own. Sure. And uh, those the African diaspora, probably some of them are watching us. Are watching. Oh, okay. Those who are interested in coming because now you see America is not a safe country. Yeah. As you can see, Black Lives Matter, people are coming exactly. down, you know. Some might be interested in farm because outside you can't do the farm day. You are coming to Ghana, you want to engage in farming. If you have something to tell them to That is true. Yeah, I uh, actually I think is it this week? Uh, yeah, on Monday, I actually had someone like clients like that. So she okay. just joined. I think she's a doctor. I think so. She just joined and then yeah, she's. So yeah, those of you outside there, like outside Ghana, or like if you are you are coming to Ghana and then you are thinking thinking about like where to put your money, the yeah, IDS farms can also. Uh, I mean, take the, you, you can join us and then like we do business. I think I've already explained the business model for those of you who are big. Cultivate like one acre is uh, 12,000 Ghana cities. Okay, that's the okay. total cost 12,000 Ghana cities, and then the estimated revenue is 16,000 Ghana cities, like minimum. Okay, and then so your profit becomes about uh, 4,000 Ghana cities.
yes, I sure. think that is a little above like 30 percent on your like your your investment. Uh, your investment. It's a good deal, and then you even get more than that. That's the minimum calculation that we are doing. Okay, and then as I told you earlier on, to like we are trying to secure like a very big vast land right. where we can last for, like 20, 25 years. We know like we are working there. So yeah, if they also come on board, I think it will be easier to. Interested in investing? Yeah, so I think I should give some details and then like, yeah, okay. So, those who so yeah, so we are on social media, uh, Facebook, Ideas Farm TH, uh, we are on Instagram, Ideas Farm TH, and uh, our data account is on that. We have one that is on that. And then uh, our website, www.idsfarms.com, you can go there, yeah, the website, like you find some information, they just are like they are not really organized here, yeah, so we are trying to like update the website and then. so yeah you and then you can contact me personally on 0244 and then like we talk more we have a business proposal okay so once you contact us we send it to you you look through it if you have any like questions or you need clarification then we take it from there we explain things to you once you are convinced we sign a contract okay so it's not like you are just bringing the money and then that's it yeah. no we are a registered organization Formalities. We sign a contract with you, there are witnesses to the contract, okay, that this is the deal that we are having, this is the money you are bringing, this is what we are going to do with the money, and this is what you are getting, so, yeah, come on board, all okay. of you. Okay, okay, so as you can see, I have my pineapple here with me, I can't wait to go and start this, oh, yeah. have a taste of ideas from pineapple, so thank you very much for watching, if it's your first time, as I always say, kindly subscribe and join this family, I have more stuff for you. So, thank you very much. Bye.